we always talk about kids not having respect, mm -hmm. right? Right. And you know what? The kids don't respect this. This generation doesn't respect that. And it's true. They don't. Why is that? I'm going to tell you why. It's, it's a lot of things. But when I see people that have a public voice that participate and encourage disrespect, right? I got to call it out. Okay. And so that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to talk about. Okay. Music, hip hop music mm -hmm. has no age. It hip hop is. is new as a genre. It is. But it has no age. There are older people that like hip hop and hip hop music. Yes, sir. Obviously, younger people like hip hop and like hip hop music, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So, if you if you contrast that with rock and roll music or other just, uh, but let's say rock and roll specifically, older groups can make music and it's accepted in that genre, right? Mm -hmm. You got like the Rolling Stones. You got all these different types of groups that have have history. Kiss, um, uh, just a bunch of them, right? right? They make music; it's all good. You got young people that go to their shows. The older people that are into that music are not coming down on these legacy acts that continuously make music, right? Yeah. But hip hop, oh my God! If if somebody does hip hop and they say, say they're over. 35, right? They're over 35. People are coming at them like, yo, why are you still rapping? Yo, you ain't made it yet. Why are you still rapping? You should you should do something else. Right. Why? Why? Why do they have to do something else? Why do they have to do something else? They don't. They don't. Now, let's be more even more specific than that. Let's talk about our rap legends, right? Red Man still makes music. Yes, he does. Uh, EPMD still makes music. Keith Murray still makes music. And what brought this whole topic up for me was LL Cool J. Now, LL Cool J is one of the top 10 greatest, maybe top five or six. Okay. Right. Set a lot of records. Yep. Sold a lot of records. Yes, he did. An icon. Yeah. Should never be disrespected. Okay. And, and, and as it relates to music. This is true. Uh, the Beatles. Those dudes, they, Paul McCartney and those dudes, they still make records and they way older than LL Cool J. Right. None of those, none of those white, uh, uh, you know, radio hosts. What, what's what's the guy? Ryan Seacrest. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't get on the radio talking crazy about Paul McCartney. He would not. No, he would not. No. Paul McCartney makes a record. This is this is a guy from the Beatles. If for our younger viewers and, and listeners, if Paul McCartney makes a record, right. none of those white disc jockeys are going to talk crazy about Paul McCartney. Right. Okay? That's true. But you have some people in the hip-hop community, specifically Charlemagne from The Breakfast Club. Okay. I like the show. Okay? I get it. They do good cop, they do bad cop, and then they do the girl. Right? Right. Envy's usually the good cop. Charlemagne's usually the bad cop. And the girl comes in. And, and, and kind of, uh, you know, balances things out. Angela Yee. I didn't mean to call her the girl. Okay, because my problem is not with DJ Envy, and my problem is not with Angela Yee. My problem is with Charlamagne. Now, I understand he, his shtick, right? His shtick is, you know, just talk crazy about people and um, and do that thing. But the problem that I have is, is they have a, a major voice. When you have a major voice, you can shape you can shape public opinion. So they have young people that listen to them. Right. And he gets on and he talks crazy about LL Cool J, mm -hmm. who recently did a freestyle. Right. And I guess he's motivated. And he did a freestyle over Dr. Dre beat. Mm -hmm. I like the freestyle. And it has got some attention for LL Cool J. Okay. They talked about it on the show. And, and let's, matter of fact, let's listen to what Charlemagne said and then let's come back and, and talk about it. So here is what Charlemagne had to say about LL Cool J coming out of retirement. LL Cool J is a legend. He is an icon. Right. Nobody can ever take that away from him. But we do not need to hear him rap in 2016. It's like just some things just run its course, but bro. There's, there's some things for everybody. You but you want to say you're going to do 
No, remember how that went too when he did that. Uh, was Pumps in a bump, bump like grind. Donald Trump, no friend of mine. Let's take you back to 89. Tim, stop it, man. Stop it, man. I hate this guy right here. Hello, who's this? All right, all right. Okay, enough, enough. Okay, so it, it went on like that. You, you get the thing. So he's saying that he's, he's too old, saying you already did your thing, you'll mess up your legacy, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now, the problem that I have with that is, is that there should not be an age limit on music. For the people that are right, for the people that are forty years old, right? They listen to you know whatever it was that was popping, let's say in the nineties. Like that's like their favorite music. Right. They should still be able to listen to that music. If you get a certain age, you shouldn't just have to switch. And now I listen to Parliament and Funkadelic, and I and I can't listen to hip hop anymore. Right. You shouldn't. Right, and you shouldn't necessarily be listening to the stuff that your kids are listening to either. No, you should not. And you shouldn't have to listen to old school. If you don't want to, right. you should be able to listen to music that's age appropriate for you, which would be artists that you grew up listening to. Right. So Red Man making music, LL making music, Dr. Dre making music, Snoop is from, you know, from that generation, basically right. him making music, whoever it is. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to make music, part of the problem with the hip hop industry is that whatever is old is whack. Right. We got to push it away. And it's thrown away and, you know, forgotten about. And, oh, you're whack. You're not current anymore. Right. Which is not true. Right. Now, now let's go back to Charlemagne. Okay. So Charlemagne is not a, is not a music person. He's never made music. So I expect, I expect this type of ignorance from him. Oh so I'm going to, I'm going to put it in terms that he probably could understand better. He would not disrespect a radio legend mm -hmm. after they got a certain age mm -hmm. somebody that 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 paved the way for him right. so let's say like wendy williams okay. because charlemagne was the you know cup carrier the the coffee go-getter mm -hmm. you know what i mean the footstool fetcher for wendy williams mm -hmm. for many years Wow, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I did not. So the, the reason why people even know who Charlemagne is is because Wendy Williams allowed him to be fuckboy number one. Oh, wow. Okay. All right? Okay. So he wouldn't talk crazy about her because she put him on, right? Okay. So he should apply that same type of mentality for rappers. Oh, my. Right? Yeah. Because these are our rappers. So... 10, 15 years from now, when he's old, quote unquote old, mm -hmm. uh, should well, people throw him to the side? I don't think he would want them to. They would? Using his logic. I'm saying using his logic. Using his yeah, logic, yes. Yes. If he's still not current, if he's still not doing his show and his show isn't, you know, I don't know, he has his own network and everything, they probably will forget about him. You yeah. 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 Hip hop has to stop pushing away. It stars because of age, right? You know, and you you have the whole thing is is that when you have a catalog of music, you can still do shows. Mm -hmm. You can still you can you can you can you know kind of sprinkle in some new music. Yes, and of course, the new music is not going to be as iconic as the classic music. Mm -hmm. But they should still be able to make music. Right. They should still be able to get play on air right. on radio stations mm -hmm. if they incorporated some older artists who were making new music. Mm -hmm. I think that that would increase listenership of terrestrial radio. Yes. So, so I, I ran into this lady today. Hmm. Another reason why I wanted to talk about this. So a white lady, middle-aged, about 50 ish. Mm -hmm. And she was really happy because she, well, she, you know, she said, are you going, you know, you know, white people just kind of just talk to me. She didn't know me. She's just talking. So she said, are you going out for St. Patrick's day? Mm -hmm. So I said, no, <laughs> I'm actually doing a mix on my show. Right. On Radio on Fire. So check it out if you you know if you're if you're into hip hop. So she said, I'm not into hip hop, I'm into rock and roll. Okay. So I said, that's fine. I won't be mixing any rock and roll, but you know, it's all good. <laughs> and so she was saying that she was gonna go out, but now she's not going out because she has to take out her kids out. Take her kids. She has to take her kids out. So she said she bought her kids A C D C tickets. Okay. Now A C D C is a is a is rock and roll group. From back in the day. Mm -hmm. So I said, AC, DC. So how old are your kids? Right. She said that they're 15 and 19. Right. 
and they love ACDC and and uh, some of these classic groups. And so I said, do they listen to current rock and roll? She said, yes, he listens to that too. And so my thing was, it's so crazy that these teenagers are into ACDC right. who are from the 90s exactly. and they're teenagers. Right. Which means they weren't really born. Uh, they definitely were not. Or they, or, or they were very young. Yeah. They were very young. Yeah. So my point is, is that, and there, and there are a lot of stories like that. But with hip hop, a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times, the kids are rejecting what we know are the classics because we don't teach them to respect the classics. Right. And that's what I'm saying. So people like Charlemagne who gets, so I, I mean, I get he does the funny stick thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But there's their time to be serious because when Minister Farrakhan was there, oh, he shut up mm -hmm. and he was listening. He wasn't talking crazy about Farrakhan. Right. right. Farrakhan is a musician. I don't know if you knew that. Did you know that? I did not. Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, okay. and, and so my thing is, is that there's that under no circumstances should you be. Now, I mean, I understand if a song is whack. Right. 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 And you may, I may not like that song, but I guarantee you, like everybody that's come up there that is old school, quote unquote, it's been out. For for years, he got something slick to say about. Mm -hmm. Now, when 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 uh, uh, Onyx was up there, he, you know that he was. He's not gonna say anything. To Onyx. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, it almost got ugly, but you know, whatever. Yeah. But my my point is, is that people like Charlemagne who have a platform mm -hmm. should take that opportunity to not encourage people to disrespect the rap legends, mm -hmm. but the rap legends should be respected. And if radio doesn't respect them, mm -hmm. the kids are listening to radio, right. then they're not going to respect them. But you take it a step further, and it's not only that they're not going to respect the rappers, but they're not going to respect you after a certain age. Right. They don't respect anything. And, and, and even the current rappers, their mindset is screwed up for the people that paved the way for them because they're quote unquote old. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 it's confusing to me. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't think it should be an age limit for rappers if you can make good music. Right. You, I mean, listen, there are, <clears throat> pardon me, there are, um, in regards to that, people, there are um, ski trips that I've gone on, gone on, okay. where uh, there were, the Fabulous Five were there, Dougie Fresh was there, Chubb Rock was there. So, you know, and these people, I mean, they performed. They performed as if it was not a ski trip. They performed as if this was Carnegie Hall or something. Right. And they gave it their all. And I was just like, wow, these are legends. These people are sampling music from these people. Right. So a lot of times they're sampling music and the kids don't even know, oh, this is the original. Um, this is the original person. OK, so my kids are young. Um, my oldest is 15. Bankroll. OK. So for them, Bankroll uh, is a Baltimore record uh, by a rapper named Tim Trees here. Exactly. Now, Tim Trees is by no means old school. He's middle school, if you will. <laughs> so, for yeah, me, so I mean, it, Tim Trees came out here and, and for our listeners that are that are out of Baltimore, um, he had a uh, a very good run. He still makes music, mm -hmm. still um, still doing that. Came out in the early 2000s right. here in Baltimore. So. You know, for my for my sons, I mean, my son, he's fifteen, so he was a baby. If not, I don't even think I I was carrying him when Tim Trees actually, you know, came out with that song. So right, he, you know, we're in the the car and we're talking about it, and I was like, this is not Tickle Bane. You know, this is he said, well, this from blah blah blah, and they're just like, well, who's that? So you have to. This has to be a learning situation. You can't right. just throw away these people. Oh, because they're not. Oh, what they're not doing? What is it? Um, hit the corn, all type of stuff, right? That's, <laughs> that's current right now. Right. Listen, these people have paved the way for for these newer artists to come in and do what they do. So, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with it. You know, people can have their opinion. That's his platform, if that's what he chooses to do with it. But it's kind of, you know, it, it's kind of disheartening to. To the legend, I mean, and it's irrespons it's irresponsible right, journalism. Right, being in the media. Yes, you know? it's irresponsible journalism yeah. because at the end of the day, it's going to come back around, and, and right. so that and, and that's that that's my thoughts on that. So I do want to say that um, I was pleased with with what LL Cool J did, and I and I hope that other um, you know legendary figures continue to do music and uh, do not 
fall or become discouraged uh, by, you know, people like Charlemagne. So. Right. 